guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you all of my Sephora picks. So everything that I picked up at this sale this year, I kinda got a lot, so I'm gonna try to go through it as quickly as possible and categorize it for you so you could skip ahead to whatever categories you like. If you're interested in seeing what I got at the Sephora sale, then please keep on watching. Before I jump into the Sephora sale, I have to show you guys my fragrance of the month. I also got like four fragrances from Sephora. But just wait, I always show you guys my favorite perfume from Dossier every single month. And this month, I brought you the dupe for the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I felt like this was the perfect fragrance for summer. It's amazing. The notes on it are green apple, lime, jasmine, rose, amber, cedarwood, and musk. So this is called Citrus Green Apple. And again, it's the dupe for the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It smells... So good, I'm obsessed. I always show you guys my perfume of the month from Dossier because it's so affordable. It's $29 versus paying the $200 to $400 in store for fragrances. And I love that they're all clean. Like I've been trying to get rid of all my perfumes that are not clean. I'm just trying so hard to get rid of like all the chemical stuff in my beauty products. So these are all handmade in France and clean ingredients, affordable. It's just my favorite. That's why I show you guys every single month. They always smell spot on to the original thing because most of the time I've either had the original in the past or I currently have the original. You get free returns and exchanges forever. So if you try it and you hate it, like don't even worry about it. You can return it. You're gonna love it, but if you had a problem, you could always return it. I'll leave you my coupon code down below. It gives you 10% off, but if you do like bundle deals on their website, you can save, I think, up to like 20%, 30%. Some of you even DM me saying that my code works on top of their code, so it doesn't give me any money, but it does help you guys out. So I love giving you guys that coupon code, so that's in the description below. They're always adding new fragrances, so if you don't see your fragrance for some reason on the website, you can always send them a little message or it should be on there soon. Since I've been using Dossier, they have added so many fragrances. They have like Louis Vuitton, Byredo, Lilabo. It's just like unreal. So this will be linked for you down below as well as a coupon code. And you guys have to try this. I love this scent for spring and summer. It's so clean and refreshing. Thank you to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of my video. So let me show you all the amazing products I got from Sephora. Guys, my hair is like a little crazy. I just did it with the Dyson Airwrap, but I had washed it and it was wet and like... It's kind of like getting frizzy. <laughs> I don't know, my hair is so crazy. So since I'm already on the topic of fragrance, let me show you all the fragrances I bought. So two of these were repurchases that I always show you guys and then two are very new, so. I love fragrances so much, so I'm excited. So the two that were repurchases were the Vanilla Woods and the Santal Vanille. These are from Seven Virtues. I show these time and time again because I'm obsessed. They smell so, so, so good and I love that they're clean. Like I said, I've been getting rid of all my fragrances that are not clean and some like toxic cleaning products around my house. So I threw away probably like hundreds of dollars of fragrances I had that weren't even used up, but I'm just like, I can't do it anymore. So because I always talk about these two, the Vanilla Woods and Santal Vanille, my friend said they came out with this Lotus pair and I'm obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. I can't explain to you how good it smells. It almost smells like, I don't know how to explain this, like like something your mom would wear, but like a young mom. Does that make sense? It's fruity, but it's still like a little bit of like a musky undertone. I'm obsessed with this. I've been wearing this all week. I'm trying to see if the notes are on here. No, but it does say it's best for improving focus, mood balancing, and feeling blissful. So we need that, I'm here for that. So yeah, I got three of the Seven Virtues ones. I love the packaging as well. All of my perfumes are now from Seven Virtues and Dossier, of course. I have, I probably have four, four? I probably have 40 different Dossier ones. I ran out of space in my bathroom, so I had to put like a little bucket with them underneath my sink. I love switching up my fragrance though. You know, like whatever mood you're in, just wear something different. Then this one had been getting so much buzz and I was like, oh, I'll try it, but I doubt it's gonna be good. Bye, it's amazing. Skylar Clean Beauty Coconut Cove. This is so cute. It almost gives like the Tom Ford Sola Blanc because the coconut and kind of like vacation vibe it has to it, but it doesn't have the sunscreen aspect. It's just kind of like coconutty and musky and I'm just so here for that. I love it. Those were all the fragrances I got. So I literally got so many things and I'm trying to go through them fast for you. Some of them I've already used and I tried not to. And then some of them are still in the boxes to just show you because I was like, it's just way too much to like pull out. So 
I'm trying the new Patrick Ta. This is She's Thirsty, the dewy milky mist. I do have oily skin, so I'm unsure if this is gonna work for me, but it's supposed to give you like the best glow. And while we're on the topic of Patrick Ta, I bought literally so much. So he came out with these eyeliners. They're called the Major Dimension, but I love that it's a gel eyeliner. And then I love that you don't have to sharpen them, you can twist them up. I got every color except for the copper. I think it was sold out. So I got burgundy, black, deep bronze, rich brown, and the nude. And like I said, it's a gel, so it goes on like a gel liner, but you don't have to use a brush. So you just like twist it up, put it on, it's unreal. They're super, super nice. I love that they're really pigmented. So the black is really black. The rich brown is really brown. The deep bronze has like a little metallicness to it. It's so good. And you can actually like smudge it for a nice little smoky eye or put it as a base under your shadow. Then I got this, which I did try. <laughs> I couldn't wait any longer. Um, this is the plumping gloss in superficial. It kind of has like a bubblegum flavor to it. I'm obsessed It's so nice and you can feel the plumping but it's not like painful like some of them are then so I had to restrain myself from using this today because I Wanted you to see like the new palette. Okay This is his new eyeshadow palette So I first saw this and was like, oh, this is gonna be just like the first one like what is this? No, it's like pink tones and you know every single time I do my makeup look she's so well loved but every single time I do my makeup I use this one so let me give you this side by side so I don't know if you can tell but like this one the new one is all the pink tones and then these are like neutral browns knowing that I reached for the old one every single time like it's what I have on my eyes right now I was like okay well I have to have this and I wanted to wear it today but I just I wanted you to see like a fresh palette you know how it is like look at it okay so then let's hop into more makeup products so this was a fail I got this one size foundation powder for my under eyes because as you guys know if you watch my channel you know for years I set my under eyes with a Mac studio fix in n4 which is a foundation powder with a pink tone because it brightens and lifts the under eyes I've been doing that for Lord knows how many years and then now on TikTok, it's like a thing to make your under eyes pink. And I guess Kylie's makeup artist came out and said like, he uses this. I don't know. So it blew up on TikTok. I was running low on my N4 and I was like, okay, let me just try this. I made a TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me there. Um, I made like a little video. This is a no for me. <laughs> Goodbye. Then I've had these before, but I bought two of the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. So I got another Joy, which is like the peachy pink one. It's not really peachy pink. It's more just straight up peach. And then I also got the hot pink one, which is very similar to the MAC blush. I'm wearing it today. The Florida Power, which I use almost every time I do my makeup. This is so pigmented. Just use like a little, little drop, but these are always amazing. Then I got some foundation. So two of these are restocks. You already know the Too Faced Born This Way in Warm Beige. I use this like almost every time I do my makeup for years. So I had to get two of them just to restock. This is my favorite NARS foundation. This is the, oh, I got Strombali. I'm wearing this today, by the way. This is a natural radiant longwear foundation. The new one didn't work for me. I'm very oily and I need full coverage. This is my go-to when I want like a nice full coverage, but I want it to look like skin. I don't know, I go back and forth what I like more, but I definitely think I like the Too Faced or the Estee Lauder. Um, double wear more but this just has like a really nice radiance to it so I'm loving that I've been breaking out like crazy like my skin I've been going to get a facial at least every two weeks and I don't know what's going on I'm just like it's almost like a rash like all here so I just been needing like full coverage when I do my makeup but I want to try this closest it's called skin improving foundation SPF 25 because I still can't find a tinted sunscreen that I like so I'm gonna try this one out let me know if you've tried this in the comments below because I've never tried it I don't know, I think I've tried stuff from them, but I've never tried this particular product. Then Gwen Stefani came out with a makeup line at Sephora. Um, I wanted to try this. It's called Bathwater. It's like a royal blue eyeliner, and it came broken. So I was going to try to take it back and get a different one, but I like the shade of it. Then for makeup tools, I just got two things. Um, even though I have lash extensions, I got an eyelash curler. This one is the Shiseido one and it's really, really good. When I don't have lash extensions, I love using a lash curler. And this one's very gentle and it gets really close to your eye. And it's good for all eye shapes because sometimes these are made for only round eyes. 
So if you have almond eyes like me or you're of different ethnicity, then you can use this. So that I think was like $14. I could be wrong, but that's amazing. Then I got the Makeup by Mario. This is the F2. I love that this is just like a little dual ended brush. This is the best for keeping your bag. This is like a fatter side and then a smaller side. So you can really like do your under eyes with this one, do your blush with this one. And I really like the quality of the hair on this. Then I got another Shiseido sunscreen. This is the oil-free one in SPF 42. This is one of my favorites as well as the Super Goop. So I just thought I would restock on that. Then for body, I got three of these little cute travel size of the Sol de Janeiro um, body cream. So I got the Coco Cabana one because I already have a huge one of the original scent. I got this new one. Um, it's the Elasti Cream. It's supposed to firm your skin. I heard it smells nice, like someone was saying it was a dupe for the Baccarat, but some people said it doesn't smell anything like that. And then I got this one, which is like a brightening one. So hopefully I'm traveling a lot this year. I don't have a clue, but I just want to try the smaller ones because I have a tub like this size of the original one. Um, and I just can't go through the whole tub because I have so many different body creams that I like. So I just got some minis. Then the last products are for hair. So I got two products from Sol de Janeiro because they had hair products and I had never tried it. So I got the dry shampoo to try and I also got the hair mask. It's just called, I think, a repair treatment. So let me know if you've tried either of these. I love the scent so much. So I was hoping the hair products would be good, but my hair is like a little weird. So certain things don't work for me. And then lastly for hair, I got this little silk bonnet from Pattern. Um, my husband, I stole his bonnet like when my hair is done. Either your hair is done and you're trying to protect your hairstyle or what I've been wearing a bonnet for because I never fix my hair, like my skin has been breaking out and so I try to change my pillowcase like every night or like I'll flip it. Um, I have two different pillows that I like using, the Beauty Bear one by Nurse Jamie and then like a regular one. I don't like sleeping with my hair on the pillowcase where my face is going because I feel like I'm gonna break out and then also sometimes if you're not using a silk pillowcase, your hair can get damaged. So I had stole my husband's bonnet, but I looked like a kitchen lady and it was not cute. So even though he works nights and he's not here when I go to bed, I was just like, yeah, I look a little crazy. So I got this pattern one, which by the way, it's silk. So that's what you need. And then it has like this cute tie in the front. So I'm here for it. Um, it does stay on all night. So no complaints there. I just wanted to try it. So that is everything I got in the Sephora sale this year. Let me know what you got at the sale down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.